Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, and this is a device that does indeed have the FRP lock enabled because as we're going through the initial setup steps here, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to either enter the previous PIN screen lock code that was used, or if we tap on Use My Google Account instead, It'll pull up the second screen that tells us that the other option is to sign in with the previous Google account that was used on the device before the reset was done. So we've had tons of customers contacting us asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device after forgetting their password or some other mix up with their Google login, or also unfortunately a lot of times someone will buy a used device from someone on the internet who turns out to be a scammer where the device is locked and the buyer didn't know about it, and then after the purchase obviously they can't get in because they don't have the previous user's information and the seller has usually long since disappeared in that case. So we're making this video to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right now here with this one. So actually as I've been speaking I've been running our unlock program here on the device that goes ahead and takes care of that for us. It needs just a minute or two to finish up and then after that we should be able to see that we can indeed get all of the way through the initial setup steps without running into the FRP screens. So just hold on here while that finishes up. Okay, so the device has now been, uh, the lock has been removed and now that it's been restarted, we can begin to go through the setup steps here. So we're gonna tap on begin. And then of course, since we want everything else in English after this, we're gonna choose the language. We have to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. Okay, so we can now see that it's actually prompting to sign in to any Google account rather than requiring the specific previous one that was on it. So that's a very good indication that the lock has been removed. We're just gonna skip through all of the rest of the setup steps though, so we can get through that as fast as possible. There we go. Skip all of the remaining steps. We don't need a Samsung account, so we're gonna skip that too. And light mode, and there we go. So we've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and pop into the settings to show you exactly which model this is. So under the About Tablet section, we do see that we have a Galaxy Tab S9 my focus would cooperate. And then that model number there, the SMX710, that's the model number of this specific Tab S9 since Samsung does make several different uh, configurations of them. So if you have a Galaxy Tab S9 with the Google account lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. 
All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our contact info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. While you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin ninguna duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.